Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can go through and rice or customize KDE Plasma to look like Mac OS Big Sur. Now, this is something that's very popular on r slash Unix porn, so that's kind of why I'm doing it. Personally, this is probably not the rice that I would do for my own personal setup, but maybe it is. Uh, and I will also say this, that I've not done this actually uh, recently, so the, some of the processes are things is, are going to be different than what I was used to before, back when I was, you know, ricing KDE to look like Mac OS. So, um, just in typical Matt fashion, expect things to go wrong. So, this is what KDE looks like right now. And this is just what it looks like out of the box when you install it on Manjaro from the Manjaro repos. It's not what the Manjaro rice looks like because that's like if you use the KDE spin of Manjaro that has all the KDE Manjaro you know theming so this is just what KDE Plasma looks like out of the box uh, so I will I'm just gonna say this right now this is an involved process so expect this to be a fairly long video uh, pause it as you do things I would say that's how I you know did it from the tutorial that I learned from I'll show you something you can pause it and then you know keep going so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up, open up the settings app here. Now, um, the then we're going to want to go to workspace behavior, okay, and then uh, desktop effects, and we're going to want to type in blur, okay, and then we're going to want to, to hit the little, we're going to want to turn it on first, and then hit the little settings icon there, and we're going to turn turn noise strength to zero so all the way to the end, to the bottom this can stay the same just do okay and then in KD plasma you're going to always want to make sure you're applying things as you go move between screens just in case so i'm going to hit pretty much hit apply every single time i change something so we're going to stay right on the same screen and we're going to want to set wobbly windows so we're just type in wobbly windows Chances are you won't need to type in the entire uh, word. So you want to turn this on and then um, hit the, uh, the cock here for settings. And we want to turn off wobble when resizing. And then turn the wobbliness all the way up. Okay. And then again, apply. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is, again, we're going to stay right in the same window. Type in um, magic lamp and again turn it on and then we want to check the the cog icon again and type in uh, 400 milliseconds okay and then hit OK and then again apply then we're done in when desktop effects for the meantime the next thing we want to do is turn off screen edges so we go here to screen edges just go to uh, click no action no action and then hit apply okay and the next thing we want to do is go to window management which is back out here in the main menu window management and we want to go to advanced and we want to make sure that this here says centered okay and then apply that basically means every uh thing that spawns is going to appear in the center of the screen uh i know i'm moving along quite fast i just want don't want this video to uh last for like four hours uh, preferably less than a half an hour would be nice um so the next thing we want to do is go to task switcher which is here along the side and we want to go to where it says visualization and then we want to make sure this here says large icons and then apply and then we want to click kwin scripts and then we want to hit get new scripts and we want to type in where the search i there should be a search thing here somewhere maybe there's not okay apparently you can't search for for new scripts anymore Used to be able to search for new scripts. I guess we're just gonna have to 
that's a bit weird. Huh. As you can tell, I told you the apparently the tutorials we're what we're looking for here is force blur. Yeah, there's no way to search. I mean there has to be a way to search these, right? It doesn't I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just go through and do this one and hit download force blur. I think it's downloading. Yep, it's downloaded. So we can just hit close. And then we want to enable force blur. And um hit apply. Okay. Now it's time to set some themes. So we're gonna go back out here to the main window. And we're gonna to want to go to global theme. And we're going to wanna hit get new global themes. See, there's a search box in this one. And we're going to want to, which is good because then I won't have to go through and search through all these just to find the one that I want. We're going to want to type in white sir and hit enter. Okay, and here's white sir. Now you can do the white sir dark. I'm just going to install white sir. Uh, and it's going to be the first one I believe that we want to do. Yeah, we'll just do this one. I think it's the right one. Honestly, in that selection thing, I always wish that they would just choose the one that was the most recent instead of giving you several options. Once this is installed, we'll uh, go to the next step. I don't know how long this will take. Oh, you're gonna we're gonna have to enter this, which is dumb because I'm not even using SDDM. Installing, installing. Oh, there we go. Then hit close. We're going to do this and then we want to hit apply. Okay, so we're on our way. As you can see, we are actually have gotten some effects of this already. We got some blur here and we got, you know, starting to look cool, right? All right, so the next thing we want to do is make sure that's, like I said, that's applied here. And we want to make sure it's also applied in plasma style, which it is. Oops. I think I just deleted that thing. Yeah. Don't accidentally delete the thing. So <laughs> like I just did. Anyways, it's already applied, so we don't need to go through and apply it again. And then we want to go through to uh, application style here. And uh, we want to go to window decorations and then we want to make sure that white sir is applied which it is all right and then the next thing we want to do is stay here in application style and type go into your application style here and then we wanted to go down here and configure gnome gtk application style okay and then we want to hit um download new Let's get new GNOME application styles, and we want to type in um, Big Sur, and then hit enter, and that should be um, you know I'm actually not sure which one of these it is. Search Big Sur install non-dark theme is what my instructions say. So we're just going to assume that it's this one. We may end up having to come through and redo this one, but it should be right. Okay, close. And we want to select it from the list, which should be, uh, let's see here, this one here. Okay, and apply. Okay. Now, if you're running an older version of Plasma, you may have one for GTK2 and GTK3. Uh, just make sure you select it for both. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go back to Window Decorations and then Title Bar Buttons. And we want to move these around so that they're in the right spot. So we're going to get rid of uh, these two things here. Just completely get rid of them. 
we're going to move the close button and the maximize button and the minimize button over here then we'll rearrange them so that may be the wrong order change these into the order that you're most com comfortable with and then just hit apply um, and you, you can see the buttons moved into the proper places okay now we're going to go back to the main menu and hit colors and then we got to make sure white sir, white sir is enabled which it is good okay the next thing we want to do is go to cursors which is here okay the next uh so i'm going to go to cursors get new cursors and we're going to type in mick mojave so m c m o h a v e and hit the enter button and that didn't type that didn't actually find anything but of course because of course it didn't okay well we're gonna try again mac we just call it mac so what we get for that so, so apparently the one that i'm supposed to use mick mojave is not here so we'll just use the mac os big sur ones here we'll just install this um Which one I'm supposed to install? I'm not sure. This is what I'm talking about. They need. This is probably the biggest problem with KDE. Still, is they bring up this thing, and like, how am I supposed to know what these things are? There's no way to know unless you go to the KDE store and look, which I don't want to do. So we're just going to choose the one at the top. Go ahead. And hit yes. Possibly by a dark. Okay. Okay. So apparently that's the wrong one. We'll just hit no. Okay, we'll try one of the other ones. Usually the tar balls work better. I should have noticed that. Yeah, we got that one installed. Okay, we just want to type in. Uh, actually, White Sir seems to have come with one. I don't know why we need to change it. We'll just leave it this one here. And then, of course, I deleted the damn thing. That's another thing you really, <laughs> Katie, you really has got to fix. You hover over something to select it. You accidentally, you know, hit the the trash icon. So, all right. Anyways, cursors are done. The next thing we want to do is uh, start up and shut down, which is under, um, which is here. And the settings app crashed. Awesome sauce. Okay. All right. Well, we'll try again. And the, here we go. Oh, look, look at those wobbly windows. This, uh, if you're an old school Linux user, yeah, that's the way windows used to move around. <laughs> yeah. All right, start up and shut down. And we're going to want to, uh, the splash screen, uh, which is here. And we'll want to make sure white shirt, white sir is enabled, which it is. Okay. All right, now. You thought all that was complicated. Wait until we get into Cavantum. So not, the next step is um, is 13 steps long. So we're going to want to install Cavantum. So in order to do that, you're going to need to get into the your software center. Now, if you're on an Arch-based distro like Manjaro um, or you know regular Arch or whatever, you can install this from the from the Arch repositories. If you're on Ubuntu, I believe it's in the Ubuntu repositories, but I'm not sure. Um, all right. For our purposes, we're going to try to see if we can find it in Discover. Now, Discover is a horrible application, but we're going to see if it's there. When you search for Cavantum, you should just get the Cavantum thing, but of course not. Of course, you're not going to do that. So we're just going to close this, and we'll see if I don't even know if I have Mac installed. I do. Good. Excellent. Well, that does not play very well with the theming so we've done so far, but it doesn't matter. We just search Cavantum. And then it looks like we already have it installed in my system, but you probably won't. So 
once it's installed, we're going to want to close this and we're going to want to open up a web browser, which apparently Conquer is set as the default web browser here, which is downright hilarious. Okay, so we want to download the non dark tarball here. So go to files. Let's see, let's see if I can zoom in here so you can actually see this. We just want to do white sir, not the dark one, just the white sir. So down, click this, download. And I believe this is going to put be put in the, uh... wow, Conqueror is weird. I've, I don't know that I've ever used Conqueror as a, as a web browser. Let's open up our file, file manager here. We want to find, um... We want to find our downloads and see if it's actually downloaded into the to the downloads folder, which it did not. And then where did you put it? <laughs> That's a good question, right? Where did you put it? All right, you want to know what? Screw this. We're gonna go to a real a real, a real web browser, Firefox. All right. Let's see here. I need to copy and paste this link. The, the links, like I said, for everything that I download will be in the description with it, with the um, instructions in, that I'm following. So if you miss a step, just scroll down below here and uh, you'll see the, instru the exact instructions that I'm following. Not that I'm necessarily saying they're the right instructions because if I make a mistake off these instructions and you follow them, you'll make the same mistake. But what are we going to do? It's the way it's 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 an adventure. All right, so we're here. We're gonna zoom in files, and then download this in here. All right, download. Save. We're gonna save file because that's the way things should be. I'm gonna make sure it's in the downloads folder. And hit save. Okay, and then we can just. Oh, ooh, that was cool. We can just minimize that because we'll need it again later. Um, now if we open up the file manager we'll see that it's actually here okay now we want to use extract this here so we're, gonna, we're just going to do extract extract archive here and now we have a folder called white sir okay the next thing we want to do we'll uh, minimize this and we're going to want to open up Cavantum. Cavantum. okay Cavantum manager here we go and of course it open up on the wrong screen because that's the way things do um, the next thing I want to do is select Cavantum theme folder. So this button here, that button we just, that thing we just um, downloaded, hit choose and hit install this theme. Okay. I'm not sure if it's actually, you know, This theme already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? No. Okay. That's weird that it didn't give you any confirmation that it installed, but whatever. All right. So the next thing we want to do is click change or delete this theme. And we want to hit um, select white surf from the drop down, which should be all the way at the bottom here. And click use this theme. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is configure active theme, which is the next level here. And we want to, underneath compositing and general look, we want to change the, the window opacity to five. And we want to change the increased menu opacity to 15. 14, 15 and hit save. Okay. And then we want to hit quit. And we want to open up our settings panel again, which we're here. Okay. We want to go to application style. And we want to find Cavantum in this thing here, which probably is going to be towards the end, I believe, maybe. No. Cavantum dark. Here we go, right here. And we want to make sure it's applied. Okay, which it is. All right, good. That is done with Cavantum. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is widgets. So 
we need to right click on the desktop and click add widgets. And then we're going to want to um, up here where it says, so we're going to first we're going to do Uh, first, we're gonna, so we're gonna hit click uh, get new widgets up here at the top, and then download new Plasma widgets. Okay, so we're gonna be installing several of these things. So get prepared. And the first thing we want to do is application title, which happens to be right at the top. We'll install that. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is latte separator. Latte sep. We're just gonna call that because then I don't have to learn how to spell things. And then the next one we want to do is latte spacer. Okay. And then the next one is latte sidebar button. Latte sidebar button. Okay, install this. The next one is better inline clock. Okay, install that. Okay, and then the next one is Launchpad Plasma. It's this one here. And then, um, yes, I believe it's the top one that we want. Okay, and then the next one is Inline Battery. Now, if you do not have a battery in your system, you do not have to install this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I don't know if it will work out very well, but I'm just going to go ahead and install it. I'm on a, you know, a, a desktop, so I don't actually have a battery, but just big sure inline battery will work. Okay. And then the next one, and I believe the last one, no, there's a couple more. Sorry, excuse me. The next one is, uh, it's called the KPPL menu, KPPL menu. And then install that one. The next one is Media Player. Now the one that we're on is called Media Media Controller Plus, which is this one right here. Okay. And then now we're in the last one. It's called Ditto. And it's called the Ditto menu. So we'll just install that one. And then we're done with widgets. We've got them all installed. We can hit close. Okay. That takes care of widgets. Now we move on to Latte Doc. So the first thing we want to do is install the Git version of Latte Doc, which means we're going to have to open up uh, Pumac again. So uh, Pumac. Yep. And we want to do the search thing here and do Latte Doc. And we want to make sure, like I said, we want to make sure we get the Git version which is this one here, and then apply, choose, and then enter our password, wait for that to install, apply, and transaction successfully completed, that's always nice to see, still not sure why that's not well, well themed, but maybe that's just an application problem. I told you at the beginning that things are probably going to go wrong, but uh, that's just the way things are sometimes. All right, so the next thing we're going to want to do is get the doc theme, which is something I'm going to have to copy from this here. Copy link, open up Firefox, and hit Control V, Enter. Okay, so this is the layout for our latte docs, and we're going to want going to want to download several things here. We're going to get the large version, which will be the one on top. Um, so we're going to want to download this. Download. And hit save. Okay. And, um, if you want, you can go through and um, change this one here to suit your needs. There's a small version. But there's several other things that we want to download. So we're going to want to download extra icons. And hit save file. Save. Make sure you remember where you're saving this stuff. Because uh, 
not all browsers save this stuff in the same spot. We're also going to want to hit the get the walls wallpaper ones. So we'll download this. This one might actually take a little bit. Save and hit save. Um, okay, and get wallpapers and launch pad icon if they're there. So I don't see the launch pad icon here. I'm hoping that comes in with the extra icons. Okay, so. All right, the next thing we want to do is extract all three three um, files that we just downloaded. So we'll go back to our thing here. We want to extract, extract here, and then extract, extract here. Oops, yep. And then the icons, extract, extract here. All right, yep, we did get the launchpad icon, which is good. All right. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because we're getting a lot of freaking stuff here. All right, so the next thing we want to do is open up Latte Doc, which we can do from the application menu, lot, searching Latte, and just open this up. Okay, and then we're going to have a, 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 lock, a doc down here. So I have log out and log back in here <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I'm not going to do that unless I absolutely have to, because I really don't want to, have to pause the video and come back and reset all this junk up. But for the next thing we're going to do is remove the panel here. So just edit panel, um, and then, um, more options, remove panel. Okay. So we've removed the panel. Now all we have is latte dog. Okay. Now. That was that was interesting. All right, so we remove the remove the panel. Right click on Latte Doc and hit. Uh, let's see here. Layouts, which apparently maybe this is the reason why. It, Maybe this is the reason why you have to log in and log out because some of this, thing, this stuff doesn't actually show up. We should be actually be able to just do edit latte then. Maybe. All right. Well, that's exactly what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to log in and log out. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here, log out, log back in, reset everything up. Luckily for you, by the time uh, this fades out to black and fades back in, I'll have done all the work and, uh, you know, lucky you, that'll be like lickety split. Okay, now that we I've logged back in and gone to the trouble of, you know, making sure that this actually works, our next step is to right click on here and hit layouts, manage layouts. We're going to get this here and then we're going to want to click import and we're going to want to import the large layout the first file that we just downloaded so we're going to want to go into downloads and then um, large latte right here Hit import okay click on the new layout which we just did which is called um, and we're going to actually see this this one here and click uh, switch oops we need to apply and then switch. And there we go. Cool, huh? That looks we're getting we're getting close. So what we just did was we added this dock here. And we also added a a bar up here, which is cool, right? Uh, it means we don't have to go through and actually add a panel later on. So uh, we can cl click on um we can close this here. We're done with this. All right. Our next thing we want to do is in the top panel, right click, then select configure latte sidebar button. Uh, I'm not sure which one it actually is. Right. It's going to be invisible. All right. So it's right next to the clock. Configure latte sidebar button. And of course, I opened up on the wrong monitor. And we're going to want to click 
the blank icon and click choose. We have to wait for this to show up here and click other icons and browse. And we're going to want to navigate to the extra icons thing that we just downloaded, um, which is, uh, hmm. I'm actually going to have to open this up and see which one it is. Go back to downloads. Um, let's see here. Extra, Mac, Mac OS BS Extra Icons. And this thing is called um, Sidebar Control Center White. This one right here is the one we want. Okay, so close this. Um, and it's called, let's see here. Um, I'm actually not seeing it. Yeah, it is right, it's right here. We're gonna choose the white one, I think is the one that we want. If that's not right, we can go back and choose. Yep, that shows showed up. And that means we get the cool little, you know, sidebar here. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is go to, we wanna make sure you hit apply, and hit okay. Okay, and the next thing we wanna do is right click on the data menu in the top, top bar, which is this one here, and then configure data menu, which again, it opened up on the wrong, I, I know I can fix that, I'm just not doing it. Um, and then we wanna hit the icon, choose, wait for it to show up, other icons, browse, and we wanna choose um, ditto menu spotlight.svg. So this one's here. I also believe we wanna use the white one. Hit apply. Okay, that just gives us this search bar which brings up a spotlight thing that actually isn't showing up all that great. Um, I'm assuming that I did something wrong with like the fonts, but I don't think we're actually at the fonts part yet. Okay, we hit okay and that we're done with that. Next thing we want to do is right click on the latte doc at the bottom, click add widgets, and we're going to want to do launch pad. And we're going to want to drag this down to the left side of the dock, which did not work. There we go. And that gives us our, our application menu. Cool beans, huh? Okay. And we want to right click this and click configure launchpad plasma. Again, wrong menu, a wrong, wrong monitor. Right click this, choose other icons, browse, and then we want to hit launchpad.svg, open, apply. Which, believe it or not, that didn't actually show up properly. I'm assuming that that would if um, you logged out and logged back in. I'm just assuming, I'm hoping that that's the case. If not, hopefully it works better for you. Um, <laughs> um, okay, so... Now, we want to actually, we're going to act, re click on this, configure latte, and we want to click, um, let's see here, which one it is. Maybe it's in a layouts? No, oops. Oh, I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing. Right click on this, configure launchpad plasma, get the damn thing over to the right screen, and we want to enable custom gr grid. And make this uh, eight by six. Eight by six. Apply, and that means it it's gonna show up on the wrong screen again. But there we go. That's what that looks like. Again, stop showing up on the wrong freaking screen. That's really weird. Um, if you have multiple monitors, this isn't gonna work out all that great unless you configure the whole. Um, well, actually, want let's go do that because I'm sick of this. Um, let's see here. I cannot remember ever. I think it's workspace behavior, maybe. Does no. Uh, window management. Um, movement. Window actions. I can never remember which where that thing is. Focus. I think it's going to be this. Nope. Focus follows mouse. and then hit apply. 
then I don't have to, you know, keep moving the damn things to the wrong thing. That should always mean that this focuses up on the right monitor. You can obviously, if you have another monitor, you can just duplicate this dock and put it on your other monitor as well. All right, we're done with latte dock. Now the next thing is the wallpaper and lock screen. So we're gonna want to right click on the desktop and click uh, let's see, configure desktop, which is uh, let's see here. Um, configure desktop and wallpaper okay and then we're going to want to click wallpaper add image and then uh, we're going to want to select, go to the wallpaper one that we just downloaded so it's in the which is this thing downloads Mac OS walls and we're going to select all these and hit open Okay, and then the one we want to choose is probably this one here. It doesn't really matter which one of these you choose. I'm just going to choose one of these and hit apply. And there's that. Hit okay. All right, now we want to open up settings, which is uh, here. And we're going to want to go to startup and shut down. Now, this is only going to work if you're using the SDDM uh logins manager which i am not i'm using light dm so i'm going to show you the the steps here here and if you uh if you are using sddm you'll have to follow these things i'm not actually going to follow them because like i said it won't work for me because i'm not using uh sddm so you want to click get lot new login screens you want to click uh uh white sir ddm so you make sure that it, this is installed it's already installed for me and then you just want to make sure that it's selected here and apply. And you're going to need to enter your password. Okay, and then you want to go to the next thing you want to do is go to workspace behavior, which is back up here. And then screen locking. And you're going to want to click appearance, which is here. And then you want to make sure white sir is uh, select white sir is what we're supposed to be doing here. Um, I'm just going to choose one of these wallpapers because I don't see what what the instructions are telling me to, to do. It doesn't really matter for me because, like I said, uh, I don't have I don't think I even have SDDM installed. All right, so now we're moving on to additional settings. By the way, we're almost done. We're very very close. Uh, only two more. So these are actually things that we don't actually have to do. So um, if you're in a, on a ter in a terminal. Uh, using like con console we can actually go up here and do uh, settings edit current profile and then change the um, transparency and stuff here and stuff I will leave that to you because what terminal you use is probably going to be different uh, if you're using console you can just go in here and make it look to your own you know your own liking and add, you can add transparency and stuff. I can actually show you how to do that. And edit current profile, appearance. Uh, let's see here. I believe edit is the right one. And then just background transparency apply. Okay. Okay. And, and that actually didn't add any transparency. I don't know why. I don't use con console, so uh, I'm completely lost. Um, the next thing you will want to do is go up here and click the right click this and click uh, configure capital capital menu i'm just going to call it the capital menu click show advanced mode um and then click sh change um we're going to change the app store here to whatever app store you want to use here um and i'm going to use padmac manager so um we just type in padmac dash manager 
hit apply hit okay and that way when you open up this and hit app store it'll actually open up the app store that you want to you know you're supposed to be using um and pemac still is not properly themed anyways <laughs> uh for the most part we're done so it doesn't look exactly like I thought it was going to, but it's very, very close. Uh, there's some weird artifacting at the bottom of the screen that I don't know what's going on there. I have a, a feeling it has something to do with... And also, I keep experiencing closes. Hit, cl hit, hit colors. It should be... Um, and we have white shirt, sir, and, you know, enabled, so... Plasma style should be white, sir. We did everything properly. I'm just not sure why that weird thing is at the bottom. I'm not sure. And there's also a weird... Um, the latte spacer thing, we we need to, needs to not be there. Um, because that looks makes it look really funky. Close. Uh, not actually sure how to remove it. Um, yeah, there we go. And hit close. It still has a, a weird, weird space there. Anyways, chances are you'll probably be able to figure out how to do that. So let's uh, close this thing out here because this has been the longest video in the history of videos, and I have to go edit it now. So. Yay me. <laughs> um, this is very, very uh, rudimentary. Uh, several things here went wrong. So there's that weird space at the bottom. There's that weird space in the, the thing at the top. Those are things that, unfortunately, you're going to have to figure out on your own if, if they happen for you. Because I don't know what the hell's going on there. So thanks for watching. If uh, you enjoyed this video hit a thumbs up. If you find a better tutorial someplace that fixes the issues that I've encountered, leave it in the video description. If um, uh, you're having problems, leave comments. Maybe I can go through and help you. I'm not an expert on this. This is just, you know, the way it worked out for me. So the last thing I need to do actually is do this. I need to thank our Patreon which I'm actually going to have to go find his name. So um, so I would like to thank uh, Devon C. I'm just going to not say your last name like at all because I would butcher it. But thank you, Devon C., for being our Patreon. Um, this is your first shout-out as an executive producer. I'll probably make a cool little graphic eventually someday when I'm, you know, want to do that so but thank you for that um if you'd like to support us on patreon you can do so just go to patreon.com slash the cast you can also support us by just subscribing which is you know the easiest way to do it uh make sure you hit the notification icon because i produce linux content seven days a week some of it is as terrible as this some of it is worse that's just the way it works uh anyways thanks for watching i'll see you next time